up first, wearing number two, a 6'1 guard from West George, New Jersey. Give it up for Elliot Kudo! A 6'9 freshman forward from Rockwell, Texas, wearing number one. Let's meet Zayden Ha! But two big time freshmen brought in by Coach Davis and his staff. We start with Elliot Cadeau, that point guard position in Carolina is so important he's expected to fill in the role. The latest in a long line of point guards to wear the uniform number two for Carolina basketball. Cadeau reclassifying over the late spring, early summer portion of the calendar to rejoin the Tar Heels a year early. And so he will be alongside of Zayden High. High, a big guy, 6'9", will be a factor in the post rotation for the Tar Heels, the MVP of the prestigious Hoop Hall Classic, a premier high school events held in January. Yeah, interesting note on the two freshmen, they both played prep ball their last season before coming to Carolina. They played each other for the national championship. Now teammates here at Carolina, and you know, you have that reclassification from Cadeau, but when we talked with Coach Lebo especially, he talked about that year of prep school for both of them really being big because it got them up to speed or a little bit closer to up to speed than typically for a freshman. Lou wins the tip, Cadeau on, going to take the first shot and knock it down from just beyond the elbow. The other end of the age spectrum, off the tip, creates some space, calmly knocks down the mid-range jumper there. We saw how that paid off in 2022 with Brady Manick. It was something that, while Pete Nance filled the role and had his flashes last season, an effective stretch four combo with a healthy Armando Baycott that can be really, really dangerous. I think the one difference, though, is coaching not showing a little bit of range. That's one of the things that he has been working on the last couple of off seasons. Told he's slimmed down, lost a few pounds. And all yeah, the parallel with the number 13 on the jersey, right? But uh, in the case of Jalen Washington, he's a player that the coaching staff says he's a guy that does the little things right. And they just need him to be healthy. So interested to see the kind of impact that he's going to have in a second season and ideally a first one fully healthy. High with a couple of baskets for Team White. High school average 17 points, nine rebounds over three seasons at Smithsonian Valley High School. And in transition, short on the three. Look at Cadeau getting down there. Getting the rebound, coast to coast. Speed and passing. Two of the great elements in Elliot Cadeau's game. Covers this year to honor their fathers. Washington tries the three off the mark. Carolina, a little bit cold here in this first half from beyond the arc. There's a hard foul on Baycott. And that'll send him to the free throw line. Available, Washington played a bunch that game. It was critical in keeping the Tar Heels in it until the very late stages. No, nearly able to knock that one away. White keeps possession. Great feed on the baseline drive and high. Take a look at Zayden High getting up high with this dunk on a baseline drive. True freshman playing in front of Carolina fans for the first time, showing off his hops. So they integrate themselves into such a veteran lineup with the transfers that were brought in and then the returning Baycott and Davis. And you have to imagine all the transfers coming in is definitely. It can't get the finger roll though. Rebound brought, back, brought down by Wojcik. Back the other way. Beautiful pass from Cadeau to Baycott. Take another look at this freshman to center or senior connection here. We've said it that Elliot Cadeau's passing is perhaps his greatest attribute. Is Okonkwo a little bit late getting here to campus, but Ingram, the last one they brought in. The connection with Jared Haas being the head coach at Stanford, and now he comes to Carolina. Great defense there, high, relentless, able to take it away and get the bucket. Live action gives you the opportunity to get to know the newcomers. Satan High, one of those newcomers, the freshman, having himself a pretty good night.
6'9 forward, showing off his ability to score around the basket. There's some defense, swiping it from his fellow freshman, Elliot Cadell, and finishing. Taking a nice feed from R.J. Davis. He's quickly on the attack. Good position down low for Washington. Couldn't handle the over-the-top pass from high, though. The high honor right there. That's a high honor for any conference you're in, but especially when you're in the Ivy. Beautiful move as Cadeau. Elliot Cadeau. He would get into the paint. Paycott slows things down, gets it across to Cadeau. White had a big lead in this one. Blue has slowly chipped away and it had an opportunity to take. There's the speed of Cadeau right back the other way. Boy tournament. This is definitely one of the more talented rosters in the country. Excited to see how it all plays out. So much has happened in his two yeah. years. Great challenge there from Washington. It's just a remarkable set of events. And as you said last year, oh, it was just... Oh, what a move from Cadeau! Yeah. Davis says clock runs down. Take another look at this nice move. Through traffic, up and under. And that kid's supposed to be in high school. No picks up across midcourt. Pull up three. Knocks it down. Needing a bucket here. Kiddo spots and cans. But on both. Three point lead for White. 26 on the clock. Kiddo across midcourt. Same setup. This time they switch. Washington backs off. And Kiddo knocks it down again. Coach Lebo told us he's for Elliot Cadell. Just that little bit of separation as Washington laid off, and he pulled the trigger. That's a quick shot. Again, Davis with a couple of clutch free throws, knocks them both down. Two-point lead. Feel like this has got to be Cadell. Double-team him, so they give it off. Baycott down low. Washington recovers. High there, Baycott. Once, twice, withers. Blocked by Washington as well, and White is going to win it. Radford, so long, and have a good night from the Dean Dome.